Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to discuss another important topic that is Maxwell's equations. So, all right. Max Wells equations. So we we'll obtain them. So remember in the last lecture we obtained some results. First, we wrote four equivalent formulations of first law of thermodynamics. D equal to minus PdV plus PdS, then DH equal to VTP plus TDS. Then we had VA equal to minus PDV minus SDP. And fourth one DG equal to V D P minus S D P. Okay, check these equations minus P D V plus T D S P D V plus T D S minus P D V minus S D P V D P minus S D P. You know <coughs> what is U? It's internal energy. Internal energy H is enthalpy A is L holds free energy or help holds energy G is hips energy right so all these four equations are right four equivalent formulations of first law of thermal dynamics right remember we said when we write first law in these four forms they are mathematically equivalent no information is lost if we go from one form to another form now depends on the system thermodynamic system which is in question which we are analyzing so the convenient way of first law we can use depending on the system in question then we obtained four equations from these uh, first law equations what were those equations let me write them we obtained do you by the v as constant was the minus p and do u by 
do this. V constant equal to T. Do H by do S. A constant P is equal to T and do H by do P that constant S is equal to V and the two and the two are do a by do v at constant p is minus p and do a by do p at constant v is equal to minus s and we have a fourth one to g by to p at constant t is equal to v and do g by do p at constant p is equal to minus s. Let me check them. Do u by do v at constant s is minus p. Do u by do s at constant p is t. Do h by do s at p constant is t. And do it by do p at constant s is v. We have do a by do v at constant temperature is minus p, and do a by do t at constant volume is minus s. Do g by do p at constant t is v, and do g by do t at constant p is minus s. Right? So these were the equations which we obtained from these four equations representing first law of thermodynamics. And remember, we call these functions as thermodynamic potentials. Thermo dynamic potentials or thermodynamic potential functions right today so let me name them let me name this as first this is second this is third four this has five. This one, both these two equations are naming. This has six. This has seven. This has eight. Right? Now we are going to obtain Maxwell's equation. How? C from first u is functional v and s. So u is functional v and s v and s h is functional p and s h is function of H is function of P and S. 
P and S. A is function of B and T. He is function of P and T. And G is function of P and T. G is function of P and T. Right? Right. And you can see all these thermodynamic potential functions, U, H, A, and G, are state functions. These are state functions. Right? In other words, how we mathematically say that, we say their differentials, that is du, dh, da, and dg are exact differentials, right? So all of these are exact differentials means that these are state functions. We have discussed the condition for a differential or some function to be exact. Remember the uh, other day, in a lecture, we discussed the condition for a differential to be exact is that the mixed second order de derivative of the function doesn't depend on the order of the differentiation. We will use that condition. We will use the exactness of these four differentials, or I can say we will use the property of these four thermodynamic potentials uh, as they exist as state functions. This property of state functions we will use to find Maxwell's equations. So let us proceed. U is a state function. I'll proceed like this. Since U is a state function, therefore, do U by do S volume constant. Two by two V constant S is equal to U by two V at constant S times two by two S at constant. V. If U is a state function, it is function of V and S, then DU is an exact differential, and therefore this equality holds. What is this equality? First, we differentiate internal energy with respect to entropy, keeping volume constant. Then the result is differentiated with respect to volume, keeping entropy constant, right? On the right hand side, we do the reverse. We first differentiate internal energy with respect to volume keeping entropy constant. Then we differentiate the result with respect to entropy keeping volume constant. So this is the mathematical condition which tells us that U is an 
u is a state function or d is an exact difference so this property we will use for all four thermodynamic potentials to obtain maxwell's equation so we are simply saying that the order of differentiating u with respect to s and v doesn't impact our result right now what is do u by do s at constant volume let me change the color do u by do s at constant volume do u by do s at constant volume this one is temperature so this is therefore do t by do v at constant s what is do u by do v at constant s do u by do v at constant s is minus p it's minus p i take minus outside it is do p by do s at constant v what we have done we have used equation 5 using i let me encircle it and name it and this is our equation 9 this is one of the four maxwell's equations let me repeat do u by do s at constant v from 5 is t so we have substituted then it becomes do t by do v at s <clears throat> do u by do v at constant s minus p so i have substituted minus p for this it becomes do by do s of p at constant v so this is our one equation so t by do v at constant s is minus do p by do s at constant v. Let us move to next. Since h is a state function, therefore can write and I write forever convenience which is function of P and S as we have written it function of P and S so what is the condition for H to be a state function mathematically do H by into p at constant s when you differentiate the result with respect to s keeping pressure constant is equal to do h by do s at constant p you differentiate the result with pressure keeping entropy constant right check it do h by do p at constant s then you differentiate the result with respect to entropy keeping pressure constant on right hand side you first differentiate the entropy sorry enthalpy with respect to entropy keeping pressure constant then the result is differentiated with respect to pressure keeping entropy constant now you can see from what is do h by do p at constant s do h by do p at constant s is v therefore it is do v by 
do s at constant p what is do h by do s do h by do s constant p is t so it is therefore do t by do p at constant s what we have done using six we used equation six I repeat do h by do p at constant s from six this one do h by do p at constant s is v so we have written for this v we get do v by do s at constant p do h by do s at constant p do h by do s at constant p is t we have substituted for it it is our t do t by do p at constant s let me encircle it and name it equation 10 put this over another maxwell's equation do v by do s at constant p is equal to t by do p at constant s let us move forward the third one now since a is a state function and a is function of v and p as we have listed it a is function of v and t so let us write the condition to a by do v at constant p differentiating the result with respect to p keeping volume constant is equal to do a by do p at constant v differentiating the result with respect to volume keeping temperature constant let me check it do a by do v at constant t can we differentiate it with respect to temperature keeping volume constant on the right hand side we'll do the reverse is do a by do t at constant v then we differentiate the result with respect to volume keeping temperature constant okay now what is do a by do v at constant t do a by do v at constant t do a by do t at constant v is minus s do a by do t at constant v is minus s my right hand side becomes minus do s by do v at constant t right because do a by do t at constant v is s do a by do t at constant v is minus s do a by do v at constant t is minus p this minus p so it becomes minus do p by we write it clearly minus do p by do t at constant v check it do a by do t at constant v is minus s do a by do t at constant v is minus s and it is minus p second one minus s we substituted for it minus s so we wrote do y do v of y minus s minus we take out at constant t 
So we substitute it for two a by two we will pass k t as minus p. So minus minus will go. We can write do p by do t at constant v is equal to s by do v at constant t. We are use here which equation equation seven. We have used equation seven. So let us name it. This our allowance. This is our allowance. And circle it. This is our third one. Maxwell's equation. Do p by do t at constant v equal to s by do v at constant t. So that last one, since g is a state function and g is functional, e and t. P and T therefore we can write the condition do G by do P at constant T then we differentiate the result with respect to temperature keeping pressure constant is equal to Going to the reverse, do G by do T at constant P. We differentiate the result with respect to pressure, keeping temperature constant. Check the condition. Do G by do P at constant T. Differentiate the result with respect to temperature at constant pressure is same as do g by do t keeping pressure constant then we differentiating the result with respect to pressure keeping temperature constant now what is do g by do p at constant t do g by do p at constant t is volume so therefore we can do V by do T at constant pressure. What about do G by do P? Sorry, do G by do T at constant P. Do G by do T at constant P is minus S. So it is therefore minus do S by do P at constant T. So we have used here equation eight. This was equation eight. We say is do g by do p at t is v. Do g by do p constant t is v, and do g by do t at constant p is minus. S. So we have substituted. Let me encircle it and name it. This is our equation 12. Do V by do T at constant P equal to minus times to S by do P at constant T. Right? So equations nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Equations nine, ten, eleven, and twelve are called 
Maxwell's equations in thermodynamics, right? They give us the relationship between different partial derivatives. They are important, so you need to remember them. Let us move to the next topic. My next topic is the T T S equations. Okay, so our next topic, the TDS equations, what is T, absolute temperature, and S is entropy. So let us proceed. Taking the entropy S as a function of T and V, we can write. Write the differential in entropy as d s equal to s by do t at constant v d t plus do s by do v at constant t d right we are simply taking entropy as function of temperature and volume so we can write its differential as ds equal to s by dou t at constant v times dt plus dou s by dou v at constant t times d. And remember, as we have already repeatedly said that this equation is valid for small changes in entropy. We multiply both sides by temperature to become TDS equal to T to S by to T at constant V dT plus T to S by to V at constant T D. Right? We multiplied on both sides by T. So right. Multiplying on both sides by T. So we have TDS is T times dou S by dou T at V constant times dT plus T dou S by dou V at constant T times T. So I divide both sides by dp dividing both sides by dt will become dts over dt here dt will go t plus by the t at constant v plus t do s by do v constant t t v by dt right as simply divided this equation on both sides by dt. 
So we obtain this dts by dt, t plus by 2 t at v, here dt equals plus t to s by dou v at constant t times dou v by, sorry, dv by dt. Now, if the process is reversible and isochoric. Remember for isochoric process, volume is constant, change in volume is zero. So what will happen? This will happen. When the process is isochoric, this term is zero because dv is zero, right? So what I get? I get dds over dt is equal to t to s by to t at constant v t to s by 2 t at constant v right this term vanishes so dv is zero to s by 2 t at constant v Right. Now, since I am saying process is reversible, remember the definition of entropy, ds is dq by t. So t ds is dq. You can write here dq by dt is t do s by do t at constant v. Well, so much for tds dq. This dq, since the process is isochoric, I write here subscript of v, which means volume is held constant. So dq subscript v is what we put into the system at constant volume. What's my left hand side? It is just cv. Remember this equation. O is equal to c delta t. We put into the system is proportional to change in uh, temperature of the system. C being the heat capacity of the system. So heat over change in temperature is heat capacity. Now our heat is being put into the system at constant volume. Therefore, dq by dt becomes cv. So cv is t do s by do t at v. What is it? Where cv is heat capacity at constant volume. So let me name it. Uh, I've already used 12 number. So let me name this as Equation 13 and this as equation 40. Right? What we do next? Put this equation 14. Mm. 
me check it. This one, I have to name some number. This one, let me name it 14. The equation is, this is my 14. This is my 15. Let me put it first. Let me bring my pen back. This is my pen. So I name it equation 15. 13, 14, and 15. I use 15 in 40. That means I replace this by CV. What I get using equation 15 in equation 14, we get. TDS. This is our TDS equal to T times to S by two T at V, which is our CV. It becomes CV dt plus T to S by do V at constant T DV. Let me check it. T do S by do T at constant V is CV. So I've written here CV, then I have DT, then I have plus T do S by do V at constant T times TV. Right? Do S by 2 we had constant T times T. <coughs> right. Now, if you check, we have a Maxwell's using the Maxwell's equation what is the Maxwell's equation one of the equations do s by do v at constant t is equal to do p by do t at constant v do s by do v at constant t is equal to do p by do t at constant v. We can use it and write tds is equal to cv dt plus t. We make this use of this. We replace here do s by do v at constant t equal to do p by do t at constant v it equals to p by do t constant v times t right cv dt plus t do p by do t at constant v times dv where we have made use of this equation we replace do s by do v at constant t by do p by do t at constant p. So I encircle it and name it some number with num some number 16. This equation 16 is called the first TDS equation. Right. 
and you can check we have this Maxwell's equation into x by 2 we had constant t where are our Maxwell's equations do s by do v this one we are using this equation allowing do s by do v at constant t is equal to p by do t at constant v so i will write the equation allowing this is our equation allowing let us move. Taking in deriving first TDS equation, we have written entropy as function of T and V. Now we will write entropy as function of T and V and derive second TDS equation. So taking entropy s as a function of t and p we can write ds is equal to into s by to t constant p dt plus to s by to p at constant t dt right you can write this equation for differential of ds differential of entropy ds ds is 2s by 2t at constant p times dt plus 2s by 2p at constant t times t. Let us name it 17. Then what we do? We multiply both sides by t. tts is t s by 2 t constant p t t s t to s by 2 p constant t d p right so we have multiply both sides by t we have multiplied both sides by t so we got this TDS, T times 2S by 2T at constant P times DT plus T times 2S by 2P at constant T times DP. Now we divide both sides by DT. Dividing both sides by DT. So it is dts by dt dt cancels out t times 2s by dot t at constant pressure plus t 2s by dot t at constant t times dot p by dot sorry it's not dp dot this not dot p it's here dp by dt simple we have divided this equation by dt dt is by dt is t to s by 2 t at constant p dt cancels out then t times to s by 2 p at constant t times dt by dt right now if the process is Isothermal D process is reversible and 
isobaric. Remember for isobaric process, change in pressure is zero. Pressure stays constant. Now if the pressure is, sorry, process is reversible and isobaric, what will happen? This term will cancel out because dp is zero. I will get dds by dt equal t times do s by do t at constant p, right? p times do s by do t at constant s by do t at constant p is tds by dt this term vanishes because dp is zero we're assuming pressure constant right so again the process is reversible we know the ds is dq by t so tds is dq right here dq by dt here i write t to s by do t at constant p <coughs> right tds we replace by dq and since the process is occurring at constant pressure so i write here subscript p what is dq subscript p we put into the system at constant pressure so this left hand side becomes just cp constant P or CP is heat capacity at constant pressure, right? Remember the previous equation. This one. So heat by change in temperature is heat capacity. So it is heat capacity at constant pressure. Let me name this equation. This is my AT. Change the color. This is my AT. And this is my 19. Then what we do next? We substitute. 19 in 18, that means we replace this by CP. Right? Using 19 in 18, we get what we get with the TDS is equal to CPTT plus t times to s by do p at constant temperature times d that's up it my substitute at 19 we have replaced t to s by do t at p in 18 to do s by do t at p we have replaced by cp so we get tds is cp dt TDS is CPDT plus T do S by do P at constant temperature times DP. This is our equation times DP, right? Now we can use the another Maxwell's equations using Maxwell's equation. Which equation? Do S by do P at constant T is minus do V by do T at constant P. 
dou s by dou p at constant t is equal to minus dou v by dou t at constant p. So what we get? We get dvs is equal cp dt plus sorry minus now we replace dou s by dou p at t by this negative term so minus t dou v by dou t at constant p times cp okay, and so let's name it this is equation 19 this is known as this equation is known as second pds equation pds is cpdt minus t dou t by dou sorry dou v by dou t at constant p times dp so we have replaced dou s by dou p at constant t by minus dou v by dou t at constant p so which equation is it next so let us move to maxwell's equations dou s by dou p at constant t dou s by dou p at constant t this one dou s by minus times dou s by dou p at constant t is dou v by dou t at constant p right dou v by dou t at constant p so we have used equation 12 here equation 12 right so we have derived first tds equation we have derived second tds equation there's third one that one i will give you homework So you have homework. So we have three tedious equations. Two we have derived. Third one you will derive at home. So your homework is derive the third. Tedious equation, which is Tedious is equal to CV, heat capacity of constant volume, times dou T by dou P at constant V times DP plus CP dou t by dou v at constant pressure times d. I will check it. Tds is equal to cv times dou t by dou p constant v times dp plus cp times dou t by dou v at constant p times d. So this is your homework. Do it at home. Prepare your exams, don't waste your time. This is all for today. Don't miss to subscribe my channel. Thank you. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum.